Hey guys, welcome to Tech Chef. I'm TJ and this video picks up right from the previous one. We will be setting up the Honor Band 4. To help you get to the information you need, I will add markers in the video description. Firstly, if you have not already charged the band, pause the video, or better yet, go and watch some of my other videos while it charges. Great, welcome back. So without further ado, let's get started. In this setup video, I will be using my LG V20. That is an Android device. There is also an app available for iOS devices. Go to the Play Store on your Android device and search for Huawei Health. Install the app, which is around 67 megs at the time of this recording. Upon opening the app, you need to agree to the permissions and user agreement. At this point, there are some other services from Huawei that you will need to download. Finally, open the Huawei Health app and you will be presented with two options, login or register for a new account. In my case, I will be creating a new account. After creating the account and signing in, you are greeted with the home screen and a few prompts. Next, we will link the band to the app. Click on the Me tab on the bottom right of the screen. Then click on the Add button for a new device. Select Smart Band. A notice will come up. Select Allow. In some cases, the app will not display the band as it is fairly new. Do not panic. Select the back key and go back into the smart band section. At this point, the system will check for updates. Then, on the top, select Touch Here to update the device list. After following that, you will see the band 4 in the list. Select the band and click on the pair button. Follow the prompts. The app will display any devices it's discovered. Click on the band to begin the pairing process. The band should start to vibrate and ring. On the band, select the blue tick to accept the pairing. Click continue on the phone. I also enabled the auto download of update packages over Wi-Fi. At this screen, you can choose what apps to receive notifications from. I've chosen to skip this and we'll look at it later. At the next screen, click Allow for access to the contacts. Congratulations, you have completed the basic setup of the watch and can start using it. Now, let's take a look at the app itself and other various settings we have on offer. On the top, you have the band and its current battery level, as well as its current connection state. You can view the device fitness data. There are step, calories and distance counters. Currently, Huawei True Sleep is disabled. This option when enabled basically gives you very detailed information on the quality of your sleep and how you can improve it. Below that, you have an activity reminder which will cause the band to vibrate if it detects you have been sitting for over an hour. The next option is continuous heart rate monitoring. In the next section, you can set alarms, notifications, choose to receive weather info, a reminder if the device is disconnected from the phone or is too far from it. Currently, function customization is pointless. You cannot unselect the ones you don't need. For example, I will not be using Alipay, but besides moving it to the bottom of the list, I cannot disable it so it shows up on the band as another option. There are reports that Huawei will be pushing other functions to the band and you can use this menu to manage them. Unfortunately, the default ones are here to stay. The next option is just like the name suggests and will power on the screen when it detects the motion of you raising your wrist. Below that is the option that will allow you to use a gesture 
of you rotating your wrist to switch between the different menu items. Next, we will look at checking out new firmware and installing it. Looks like we have an update. Select the update button to begin the process. You can scroll through the update info. This is going to take approximately 20 minutes as per the screen. Taking a look at the band, it looks like the firmware had to download to the phone and is now being transferred to the band. I will check back once it's completed. Welcome back guys, click on the finish button to proceed. The band looks fine. Going back into the firmware section and it looks like we have the latest for now. The last option on this page is the restore factory settings. Notice when you enable the advanced sleep tracking, you receive a notification that wearing the device during sleeping will increase power consumption. I feel this is obvious but there's no harm in the extra informational alert. Looking at the continuous heart rate tracking, you can pause and read it. The two main options are enabling it as well as an alert if your heart rate goes too high. As you can see, the green LEDs are now active and waiting for the signal to monitor. Guys, thanks for watching my setup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be releasing my full review in the coming weeks so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you will be notified when I release new content. And let me know in the comments below your thoughts on smart bands versus smart watches.